Hey, how's it going, everyone? This is Kevin from Audio Digital, and I have a little short uh, tips video here specifically for Bitwig. So maybe not everyone can find this useful, but even if you're thinking about getting Bitwig, this uh, shows you the power of the modulation system to overcome even some problems that arguably shouldn't be there in the first place. But they added a grand piano with some pretty long samples in uh, the recent, uh, well, in 2.2. In and they're high quality samples. They last a long time. Uh, let's look at one of them. So this one's 20 seconds, uh, 26. So that's very nice. The problem is, is that when you are holding down the pedal, and you play a, a high, like a high velocity note, and then follow it with a low velocity note. The high velocity is cut off, uh, and it sounds unnatural. So let's listen to that. So that's not what happens in a real piano. If you play a note loud and then play a soft one after it, it doesn't make the the louder note stop sounding so when I'm doing like a roll or something it sounds very unnatural and clunky and horrible this kind of made the piano pretty much un uh, unusable for me I would use something from contact or whatever instead but because you have the modulation system we can fix this problem so what I did discover is that if the release time is turned up all the way I can play a loud note and then a softer one afterwards and it doesn't cut off the the loud note. So that's much closer to how it's supposed to be. So um, what I can do here is use a modulator, come, come into MIDI here, and just uh, open it up, click on learn, hit my pedal, click on the modulation and just turn it up. Now, when I hit the pedal, I'm basically turning the release all the way up. So now I can do my roll. And it doesn't cut off the, the notes. It sounds a lot better, a lot more natural. So you basically are able to fix the piano uh, by using the modulation system. So that is super cool. Although, arguably, yes, it shouldn't have this problem in the first place, but I'm really happy that it's fixable. So if any of you guys have experienced that problem, that's the solution. And now I can just come in here and uh, save it into the library. I can actually overwrite the other one if I want to. I might just uh, call it fixed just in case I want the old one and okay that and now I have another version of that piano where it's nicely uh, fixed right here so I can use that one and forget about the old one anyway I hope that's been helpful for you thanks for watching and have a wonderful day bye